Darksiders Apocalyptic Difficulty Walkthrough with all collectibles for ArmageddonGaming.com. <clears throat> so, we're heading to the last challenge in this video, and we are also getting the collectibles that we are able to get in this video. So, this is probably the easiest of them all. It takes me probably a minute. What you have to do for this one is kill five enemies in the air. To do that, you hold X or square on the PlayStation 3. And it'll launch them in the air. you got to be focusing on them. And then it'll take you up in the air with them and then just mash the attack button. And then after about two times, it will kill them. And you'll just have to do that five times. This is probably the fastest one you can do as well. So, assuming you do this fast, you'll get a bunch of bonus souls as well. So it's definitely a step up from the other three we've done. So that is a uh, block counter skill. What you gotta do is press right bumper at the point of impact of an attack slightly before and you'll be able to counter him. There's not much emphasis on defense in this game. Um, either you're offense, you're doing offense, or you're dodging. There's not much uh, reason to block. So now you'll be able to move through there. But first, we're gonna grab some collectibles. So right next to the door we just moved, hop down here. And just a quick note, you cannot get any collectibles while you're uh, in progress of those four challenges because of the kind of vision mode you're in, where your eyes are kind of hellish or something like that. You'd understand if you were watching the cutscenes. But regardless, you can't pick up collectibles while you're in that mode where everything's kind of dark and red. And up here, I'll find a Wrath Shard. So we're going to head out of here. There's one more collectible in there, but we can't get it yet until we pick up the crossblade. So once we get the crossblade, we'll be able to come back and finish that off. And there's one more collectible after that that we need another upgrade for. So the next one is going to be a relic, and if you're right near Volgrim's location, just head north a little bit and you'll find this kind of crypt area.
so the next collect we'll be grabbing, you'll see these three tombstones. The center one, you can actually grab it from this end and pull it, pull it out, and you'll be able to jump down here and grab another artifact. And then I cut out some, uh, I cut out this combat, really, in a second, and it's coming up. There we go. Now, the last collectible is actually really tricky. What you have to do is you have to destroy, I believe, all the cross tombstones, but I'm, I'm almost sure it's all the big cross tombstones, these big ones right here. But I destroy all of them just for good measure, just in case. So really just go after the cross tombstones and a hidden chest will pop up and it will contain a life shard. So that's about it for this video, in the next video we'll head into the next area. Check back at ArmageddonGaming.com for many more high quality walkthroughs.